All right, guys, you ready to go to Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah! Let's go! Hey, guys. PJ Crenshaw. Mary Jammy's Crenshaw. Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw. <laughs> Yep, that's my name. I just wanted to see if you guys wanted to come to my party tonight. The dress code is PJ's only. Of course we want to go to your party, PJ. We'll go right now. Yeah, dude. Wait, I thought we were going to Chuck E. Cheese. Jeffy, if PJ Crenshaw invites you to a party, you don't say no. Yeah, you can't turn it down, dude. Okay, I guess we'll go in your party. Everyone get in your car. Wait, that's your car? Yeah. <laughs> nice car. Thanks. Not. <laughs> Wait, do you like my car or not? No, bro, it's a piece of crap. See, see, it's muy caca. Yeah, you guys can't come to my party in that thing. Okay, well, we'll just walk to your party. No, now that I've seen your car, I know how lame you are, and I can't be seen with you guys at my party, so get a new car, you guys can't go. Well, uh, wow, good going, Jeffy. Since you have a crappy car, we can't go to PJ's party. Yeah, thanks, dude. Well, it's not my fault I don't have the money for a new car. Drag racing. What? Yeah, if you try drag racing like in Fast and Furious, you can get enough money for a new car. Oh my yeah, god. Savage, dude. You should do it. Yeah, you should go find a random guy to race on the road and then say, hey, I'll, I'll bet you money I can beat your car in a race. And then when you can buy a new car, we go to PJ's party. Okay. I guess I'll go try to find a drag race. Took you so long. Who taught you how to drive like that? My dad used to be a race car driver. Must have sucked. I guess you're gonna take my car. Here's my pink slip. Nah, fair. <laughs> What are you doing here? I want to race and win money. Oh, we don't race for money here. We race for pink slips. Well, I don't know what that is. If I win, I get your car. But if I win, I get your car? Oh, you're not going to be racing me. You're not ready for that. You're going to be racing him. Are you ready to be eating my dust? I don't need anything but ass. Good luck, kid. You're going to need it. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, he's gonna get a ticket? Like you like that shit. Now give me those keys. No. Give me the keys. Give him the keys. But then I won't have a car. Sorry. You're not family. Oh. Ooh, Richard, your dad is a asshole. Well, no, no, your dad is this. A deadbeat. No, no, your dad has a lot of stuff in his bank account, so he is a business owner. No, your dad is this. A piece of shit because he won't let me spend money. But if he let you spend money, he would be a good dad. You know, you're. Oh my god, the time was the time was gone. Your dad is a asshole. Oh my god. Hey guys. Ooh, Jeffy, did you win a race to get some money to buy a new car? No, I lost to a Lamborghini. Why the fuck would you try to race a Lamborghini? Yeah, what's wrong with you, dude? A PT Cruiser can't beat a Lamborghini. Yeah, dumbass. If you want to beat a Lamborghini, the only car that can do that is my dad's Porsche 911. Wait, your dad has a car that can beat a Lamborghini? Yeah. Ooh, okay, I know this is asking for a lot. But is there a way that we can borrow that car so that we can go beat other cars in races so we can get enough money to buy us a cool car? You'll piss off my dad, but sure, I'll go get the keys. <gasps> oh my god! I am Groot. What? I just feel like one day I'm gonna be Groot. I am Groot. Well, well, well. Look who got themselves a big boy car. Yeah, and I want to race you! Oh, you're not ready to race me. And besides, I'm not done with my boss. 
You're gonna race him again. Ooh, blue's my favorite color. Give me that shit. Good luck, kid. Yeah, good luck. I'm about to have me a boys. On your mark, get sad, go! <laughs> Damn, the kid actually did it. <laughs> I can't believe I lost to a 9 11. How ironic. Now give me that shit! <laughs> Am I family now? Not yet. First, you gotta beat him. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> What's good? I'm rocking the Hennessy Camaro, cause that's all I drink. Show this kid who's boss. Hi! Good luck, kid. There's a thousand ponies under the hood of that car. I'm about to win me a Porsche, <laughs> so I can pull up my Hennessy. On your mark. Get set. Go! Take this Hennessy! Take this Hennessy! Oh no! I'm losing! Damn, this kid just keeps winning. I think you're finally ready to race me. No, Vin Diesel, what if you lose? Family. You're about to learn what family is. Deserve to have my car. Yo, family. Family. <laughs> Thank you so much for not taking my fucking car. It's so expensive. It's my whole personality. Vin Diesel, look. I am group. I want to race you to win my Lamborghini pack. Actually, I want to race you for all your cars. <laughs> Good luck. He's been beating everybody today in that 9 11. Over, oh, I'm going to do favors the 9 11. Run that shit. All right, family, kick his ass. On. On your mark, get set, go! Come on, family, you got this. Keys, you can't beat a Tesla. Family. Now we lost all our cars. Damn it! But well, at least we have family. Shut up! Hey guys. Ooh, Jeffy, how much money did you win by using the Porsche? Well, I wasn't racing for money. I was racing for cars. And at one point, I won a Lamborghini and a Camaro. Oh my God! That means we can take a Lamborghini to the party. We're gonna look so cool. No, I ended up losing the cars to a Tesla. Why the fuck would you race the Tesla? Nothing can beat that. Wait, so you lost? Richard's dad's Porsche in a race? Yeah. Oh, Richard, how mad are you? Oh, I'm not mad. My dad deserves it. He's a piece of shit. Wait, guys, I just realized we could have just taken the Porsche to the party. Hmm, shit. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. That we could just ask to borrow it for the party. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Logan. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that during the filming of this video, I broke my back in a car accident. I was actually driving the red Camaro in this video. That's the car that I crashed in. And the reason why it crashed was because if you notice in the video, we were doing a lot of burnouts and that car had a thousand horsepower. And we took the, it actually burned the tread off the tire from doing so many burnouts. So when I raced at the end of the drag strip and I tried to stop, 
the tires didn't get traction and it wouldn't stop and the car kind of just skidded into a ditch and uh, my car went in the air and it landed really hard and that's what broke my back. So I'm in this back brace for 12 weeks. It's gonna be a long recovery. Um, I'm, on, I'm on a lot of pain medicine. So right now I'm feeling okay, but when it wears off, I'm in a lot of pain. So um, this is the last video I had saved. So we don't have any new videos saved right now. I'm going to try to film tomorrow to try to get you guys at least two videos a week. I, I don't know if I'll be able to do three, but you know, it's it's just so hard to edit while on the pain medicines. It's so hard to film while in pain and I, I can't really move a lot. And this is some of the worst pain I've ever been in. Like this morning, cause I broke my back four days ago and this morning was the worst pain I've ever felt this morning. I don't know why it's getting worse, but I just wanna let you guys know that there are new videos coming. I'm going to try to film for you guys. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I was going to try to make it longer, but <laughs> after I wrecked, there really wasn't much I could do. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, please be patient. I'm going to try to get out as fast as possible. Hey, Dad, me and my friends are going to go swimming. Oh, no, you're not, Jeffy. You're grounded. What? Why? You know you're supposed to ask permission before you invite friends over to the house. Well, actually, this is my house, too, and Cody was already over here. Well, you know you're supposed to ask permission before you go swimming. I'm 19 years old. Well, this is my house and I make the rules, so you have to listen to me. Well, actually, this is my dad's house too. Well, I share the rules with his dad, but you have to listen to my rules. So listen to mine, and mine is that you can't go swimming right now. Marvin, come on, it's summer vacation. Well, he's in summer school, he's dumb. He needs to be punished by not doing fun stuff. Marvin, everyone deserves a break. Not Jeffy, Jeffy, go practice your alphabet in the room. Alphabet, he's 19. I know my alphabet, dad. What about the Korean alphabet? Why the f do I need to know that? Maybe because one day we might need to go there to learn it. So can I go swimming or not? No! This house is a in prison on planet bullshit in the galaxy this sucks camel you're not allowed to watch tv anymore because you learn bad words f <sighs> oh, i hate my dad he won't let me go swimming it's okay jeffy me and cody already got dressed yeah we don't need to go swimming i just wish that the worst thing ever would happen to my dad like he broke his back yeah well just don't step on a crack <laughs> why well because if you step on a crack you break your mama's back why well, I don't know. That's just the saying. He doesn't want to hurt his mom. He wants to hurt his dad. Well, that's why I said don't do that. So what do you step on to break your dad's back? Well, if you stepped on his back, that would break his back. Well, I don't want him to know that it was me. Ooh, I got an idea. What if you put an Uno reverse card on the crack and then you stepped on it? But wouldn't that just break Jeffy's back? Oh, no, 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 no. It would break his dad's back. Because, see, look, the, the Uno reverse card, it does the opposite of what it's supposed to do. It, it reverses it. So the opposite of mom is dad. Oh, oh, that makes sense. I've decided that makes sense. In this context, that makes sense. All right, then we should do it. Does anyone have an Uno reverse card? Right here. But why do you have one, Cody? Well, I was getting a prostate exam, and then before the doctor did it, I threw that down and said, give me that butt. And then he did. He gave me his butt. Oh, well, yeah, those things are powerful. All right, let's go put on a crack. Marvin, I think that was very rude. You wouldn't let Jeffy go swimming with his friends. Well, he needs to learn how to ask for permission. Marvin, go on ground him. No, he's staying grounded. Okay, fine, Marvin. Then we're not going to do anything for a whole month. What do you mean not do anything? You know what I mean. <laughs> Marvin, cut it out. Marvin, stop it. You're being overdramatic. Marvin, stop. Okay, fine. We'll do stuff. Okay, good. Oh, guys, guys, there's a good crack right here. Oh, I'm gonna step on it. Wait, hold on. You don't want to break your mama's back. I have to put the Uno reverse card on it first. There you go. Now you can step on it. Oh, step on it? I'm gonna stomp on it. Marvin, knock it off. I told you we could do so. My back, my back, it hurts. Marvin, what's going on? I think, I think, I think that's enough. Marvin, stop. Oh we can do whatever you want, okay? Any position. Your shoe came off. I know. All right, let's go. Let's go check on your dad. All right, hopefully he's dead. Oh, call a doctor. Okay. Ah! Ugh, hey there, somebody call a doctor. What's wrong, doctor? Well, some kid stuck his finger in my ass. He had an Uno reverse card. It was a whole thing. What's wrong with him? Oh, well, you see, I threatened Marvin with not doing anything with him for a whole month, and he started writhing around like this. Ah, wait, what do you mean not doing anything with him? You know anything? Oh, well, you can't take water away from a fish. Fish need water. Well, I took it back, but he's still throwing a fit. Well, maybe he wants butt stuff. That's fine. Marvin, just cut it out. Wait, that actually works? Hold on. I gotta go try that with my wife. Hey, Karen, can we do butt stuff? Ew, Boiny, no. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ee. Ooh, boiny, Boiny, ooh, what are you doing? Ooh, I'm in so much pain. Boiny, oh. what is this? Oh, ow, butt stuff. I need it. Oh. What? No, Boiny, cut it out. So it's not gonna work? No, Boiny. Okay.
<sighs> it didn't work. Marvin, you better get up and get that boy. On my back. Wait, your back? My back hurts. Well, did he do anything to hurt his back? No, we were just sitting here. Well, you didn't get on top of him, did you? No, we were just sitting here on the couch. Huh. It seems like a pretty comfy couch. I don't see what could have... Ooh, a little too damn comfy. Let me test this out. Mm -hmm. Doctor! Oh, hold on. I'm just, I'm just thinking. I think maybe I just need to lay here with my eyes closed. Well, I think on my left side. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. Doctor! Uh, uh, how long was I asleep? I, I mean thinking. Well, what about Marvin? Oh, oh, yeah, his back. Well, I mean, I guess I could take an edible and lay back down. What? I, I mean, take an x-ray of his back. I'll, I'll go get an x-ray. Hey there, I totally did not just take an edible out in my car, and I have Marvin's x-ray. <laughs> what is that? It's an X on a stingray. An x-ray. This thing killed Steve Irwin. Fuck you, stingray. Wait, what does that have to do with Marvin's back? Nothing, it's a joke. Okay, well, did you get an x-ray of his back? Well, I got an x-ray, yeah, here you go. What is that? It's a fractured spine. Wait, Marvin broke his back? Uh-huh. Well, how did he do that sitting on the couch? Well, you see, when they were making Alvin and the Chipmunks of the Squeakquel, Napoleon Bonaparte's great-great-nephew Kevin Bonaparte actually visited the set on two non-consecutive days because he was such a big fan of the first movie. What? I have no fucking idea. Look it up. Well, what are we gonna do about Marvin? Oh, yeah. Hey, your back's broken, buddy. Oh, what are we gonna do for the pain? It hurts so bad. Well, I got two options for you. I can either give you this shot that will instantly fix your back and take away all the pain, or I can give you this pill that will add one inch to the length of your wiener. But you can't do both, you gotta pick one. Oh my back. It's okay Marvin, it'll be worth it. Yeah man, I don't blame you, I would've picked the same thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go drive. Wait, 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 is there anything Marvin shouldn't do? Yeah, meth. No, is there anything Marvin should avoid doing? Well, I mean obviously meth, but other than that I also wouldn't pick up strangers in the road because they might offer you meth. No, I mean is there anything Marvin shouldn't do so he doesn't hurt his back worse? Oh yeah, tons of things. I mean, you know, don't go skydiving without a parachute, don't walk on the train tracks with headphones on. I mean, if we list them all, I'm gonna be here all day. Just, just go. Okay. Go. Oh, baby. I don't understand how I broke my back just sitting on the couch. Well, maybe you messed up your back flopping around when you were throwing a fit. Oh, yeah, I was moving around a lot. Hey, Danny. Oh, my back. What's wrong with you? I broke my back, Jeffy. Hey, how'd you do that? I was just sitting here and it randomly broke. Oh, sounds like you deserved it. Jeffy! For being a shithead. Jeffy! Well, you wouldn't let me go swimming! Jeffy, you're talking like you're the reason that this happened. Marvin, that's impossible. Jeffy wasn't even in the room when it happened. It was just you and me sitting on the couch. Yeah, I was outside stepping on all the cracks. Jeffy, that doesn't make sense. It's step on a crack and break your mother's back, and my back is fine. Well, I have cheat codes. Jeffy, since I broke my back, you're going to have to do a lot more work around the house. Like, I'm talking you're going to have to do the dishes. You're going to have to take out the trash. You're going to have to scrub the floors. You're going to have to scrub the bathrooms. You're going to have to deep clean. Fuck all of that. He's high as shit if he thinks I'm going to do any of those chores. i got to figure out a way to get my daddy's back not to be broken anymore. You're also going to have to trim the hedges. And you're also going to have to go and mow the lawn. All and right, Daddy. Well, I'm going to get started on all that. You just sit right there and relax. Okay. Draw four, Junior. I'm not drawing four. You have to. No, I don't feel like holding four more cards. Those are the rules. You have to draw four. No, I'm skipping. Do you have a skip card? No. Well, okay, Junior, if you're not going to play the game, I'm quitting. Hey, guys, my daddy's back really is broken. Well, that's what you wanted. Why are you sad? Well, because now that my daddy's back is broken, he's making me do more chores around the house. Yeah, people with broken backs are a burden to society. They always whine and want you to do stuff for them. And you got what you wanted. His, your dad's back's broken. Well, is there any way that we can reverse it and take his pain away? No, we already used a reverse card today. Wait, Junior, I just realized, why did it break his adoptive dad's back? Shouldn't it have been his real dad's back? Well, see, that's his stepdad, and he stepped on a crack, so he broke his stepdad's back. Well, no, that's not his stepdad, that's his adoptive father. He legally adopted him, that's his dad. Well, maybe the card goes by the law, it doesn't go off your biological dad. Junior, did you just try to say biological? Uh, that's what I, yeah, that's what I said. No, you said biological. That's not a word. You knew what I was trying to say, so why are you bringing that up and doing that? I feel you're like, embarrassing me. I feel like you gave up saying it at the end because you knew I was going to say it right and you just wanted to say Well, it. we all know what I was trying to say, so why are you making a big deal? Now it's really embarrassing. Well, I just, I was just trying to make sure you knew the right word. Listen, it, it did the right dad. What's the fucking problem? Okay. Well, I'm sorry, Jeffy. What was your question? Well, is there a way that we can reverse my daddy's pain so I don't have to do chores all over the house? Well, we can't reverse it, but... Oh, I, a skip card! Yeah, I have a skip card. You could just skip the pain, you know. 
Okay. Well, I guess you'll try that. Yeah, go put it on his back. It'll skip the pain. Yeah. I cannot believe you did that in front of him. What? I, that was just, that was embarrassing. Why would you, who does that? You said the wrong who, word. I, I know I said the wrong word. I, I don't, you think I already knew that? I, I don't know what I was saying. I'm gay. I'm I know it's a big word. And you're just going to embarrass me in front of him like that. Because now he's going to think, I don't know what that words that I'm saying. He's not going to think that. No, I, that, God. Ugh, ow, hey there. What happened to you? Well, I was driving high as fuck and I saw Winnie the Pooh in the road. So I swerved not to hit him. And then I crashed into a tree. And I think I messed my neck up pretty bad. Luckily, I'm a doctor. So I already had a neck brace. Oh, well, it looks like we're both going to be recovering from major injuries. I just wish I had a way to skip all this pain. Yeah. Hey, Danny, I got a way to fix your back so you won't be in pain anymore. Yeah, whatever. Shut up, Jeffy. You're just lying. No, Danny, look, it's an Uno skip card. That's just a card from a stupid card game. It's not going to do anything for my back. Yes, it will. Look, give me that. Wait, what, what do you mean? Well, look, if you put that card on your injury, it'll skip the healing process and all the pain, and it'll be all better. Well, give me that. Give me that card. Give me that card. Yeah, I, give me this, I want it. I want the card. Marvin, I have a lot of jobs. I need to be able to work. I need to get that card. Well, I want my back pain fixed. Marvin, you just sit on your ass all day. This injury is perfect for you. I need the card. No, I need it. Give me it, Jeffy. Okay, Marvin. I'll make you a deal. Look, if you let me have that skip card, I'll give you this draw four wild card. It'll add four inches to your wiener and you can make it whatever color you want, but it will also make the pain you're feeling four times worse. Oh my God, the pain, it's four times worse. Oh. Oh, Marvin, I promise it'll be worth it. I just don't know why you picked the color green. Wake up. Sadness, you there? Yeah. Anger, you there? Yeah. All right, time to get the day started. Let's say we wake him up and go annoy daddy. Oh, we should annoy daddy because we're going to get in trouble. I say we make a piano of ourselves that goes uh, every time we hit it. Yeah, that would be sick. No, that would be so annoying. Shut up, sadness. I say we wake up screaming at the top of our lungs. Yeah. No. Let's go. Morning world! Hey, Danny! What, Jeffy, what is that? It's a me piano! I call it a miano. What, Jeffy, where did you even get that? Ooh, guys, he wants to know where we got our piano from. I don't even know. I think we should hit the I don't even know button. But we do know where we got it from. We got it from smlmerch.com, sadness. Link in the description. But I'm just gonna hit the I don't even know button. I don't even know. Jeffy, seriously, where'd you get it? I don't even know. Jeffy, where'd you get the piano? I don't even know. Jeffy! I don't even know. 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 Guys, it's getting annoying. Stop! Keep hitting it. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Did he, uh, fucking hit us? He did! We should hit him back! Why did daddy hit us? Does he hate us? He's a bad daddy! All right, guys, let's be strategic about this. I think we should cry to get sympathy from mommy. I think we should yell at daddy and tell him he's high. All good suggestions. I say we do them all. Marvin, look what you did. You're a bad daddy. Are you fucking high hitting me? Jeffy, you won't tell me where you got this piano from. Or no. Jeffy, tell me where you got it from. Maybe you should check out smlmerch.com. Link in the description. Beep. All right, Jeffy, take this to your room. I don't want to hear it because it's really annoying. Okay. <sighs> Whoa, Joseph, where'd you get all those fireworks? Dude, I got it from a guy selling out his trunk. Oh, that sounds safe. Yeah, we should go outside and light them and see how long we can hold them after we light them. <gasps> That'd be so cool. No, we should not do that because we're going to end up like Jason Pierre-Paul. What, a future Hall of Famer? A two-time Super Bowl champion? No, missing four of our fingers. He won one of those Super Bowls after he lost his fingers. Yeah, well, I bet if he had the chance to trade in those Super Bowl rings for his fingers back, he'd do it. I don't think so. He won one of those Super Bowls with Tom Brady, and he won the other one beating Tom Brady. He'd be silly to trade in those rings, dude. If you offered me to keep my fingers or win two Super Bowls, I'm picking my fingers. If they told me I had to lose both my hands to kiss Tom Brady, I would do it. Yeah, shit, you can take my hands. Wait a minute. Hey, guys, check out my Jeffy piano! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, look what it can do! <gasps> oh, it can sing its song! Woo! That's so cool! Yeah, check this out! What? That's so cool, can speed it up, can it slow it down? Oh, of course, Junior, check this out. Take that one. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. 
Oh, it's oh, chopped yeah. and screwed. It's chopped and screwed, definitely. No, well, there's enough of that. I shit my pants and now it's running. Why? Why? So where can you get this piano at, Jeffy? HMLmerch.com, link in the description. Beep. Beep. Was I late? Yeah, just a little bit. So, Jeff, you want to go outside and light fireworks with us? Fireworks? Those are so pretty. Yeah, they go boom. <laughs> Explosions. Yeah, guys, let's go light some freaking fireworks then. Yeah, guys, let's go do fireworks. Yeah. Make sure you wear your goggles. You don't want to get sparks in your eyes. Shut your lame ass up, dude. Yeah, do you wear goggles while you're slobbing knob? Yeah, I wear a goddamn poncho because I'm in the splash zone. It's like Shamu jumping into a pool full of mayonnaise. Oh, Jesus. Let's just go and pop fireworks, dude. Yeah, let's go. Fireworks! 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 It's raining? No, dude! Fourth of July is ruined! Oh man, why is that the rain on the Fourth of July? Wait, we can't do fireworks while it's raining? This is the worst day ever! Ah, I hate the rain! Guys, I guess we're just gonna have to cry because we didn't get our way. Yeah, I think we should cry! Ah, I don't want to light fireworks! Me too, Jeffy, but we can't light them while it's raining, right? No. <sighs> okay, let's just go wait in my room till it's done raining. Oh, guys, I can't believe it's raining on the 4th of July. This should be the one holiday that it can't rain. I know, dude, it should be illegal. I also don't want it to rain on Christmas, or Halloween because of trick-or-treating, or Thanksgiving, or my birthday, or all of summer break, or spring break, or the Super Bowl, or any days I don't want it to rain. Junior, they can't control the rain. They did in Dubai. And then they couldn't make it stop raining. Well, listen, are there any of these, like, fireworks we can light in the house, like these rockets? What are you, a friggin' stupid? Junior, you're gonna burn the house down. You can't burn your house down if it's raining outside. The rain will extinguish the fire. The rain is on the outside of the house. The fire would be on the inside of the house. And when the fire burns the ceiling off, then the rain could get in and extinguish the fire. We don't want the fire to burn the ceiling off. That's what we want to avoid. Okay, listen, are there any fireworks we can light that won't burn the house? down. Jeffy, do you still have those little snap and pop things? I used them all. Oh, great. Well, we have this little butt plug thing, but I'm pretty sure if we lit this, it would explode in the house. Where's Junior? Why would you light it while I'm holding it, you motherfucker? Yeah! Junior blew my fucking hand off, you idiot! Oh! What the fuck? The firework blew his hand off! His hand is completely off! That was totally gnarly! That was cool as shit! Well, that's no our problem! Hey guys! Wait, who are you? My name's Anxiety! You know, that could've happened to us! A fire could've blown our hand off! Oh my god, that's true! It could've been us! We could've been the one that lost our hand! Ah, Daddy! Daddy! My friend lit a firework in the house and it blew his hand off! Jeffy, you are lighting fireworks in the house? No, my friend did it and blew his hand off! Jeffy, you could've gotten hurt! I know, my hand could've gotten blown off! Why is my diaper so tight? Why is my shirt still on? It's just hot in here! Somebody help me! Marvin, I think he's having a panic attack! I'll call a doctor! I think we're gonna die! I think we're gonna die! What are you doing, anxiety? You're fucking up the controls, you fuckhead! Yeah, stop messing with the controls! We're gonna die! We're doomed! Ow, ow, ow! Stop crying, Cody. We brought you to the hospital because you decided to blow your hand off. Hey there, let me guess. Another fireworks injury. Maybe you blew your hand off playing with fireworks? Whoa, dude, he's a wizard. How do you know that, doctor? Because this is the 4th of July. People do that every single year. Tons of people blow their hands off playing with fireworks, even though they see people do that on the news all the time. They just can't stop doing it. They love it. You know what's crazy? Those people woke up today with all of their fingers and all of their hands, and now they don't have them anymore because they decided to ruin their life just for seven seconds of fun. Just like me, when I had my first kid. My entire life ruined over seven seconds. Those were the best seven seconds of my life, though. I was going crazy. So what's going on? Well, it's not my fault. Junior lit the firework while I was holding it. Well, why didn't you just throw it? Well, yeah, I guess I could have thrown it instead of saying, Junior, why did you light it while I was holding it, you motherfucker? So that is my bad. Well, can you, like, put the fingers back on? Like, can you sew them back on? Did you bring the fingers? No. Hmm, chicken fingers. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. I'm going to Bojangles, and I'm gonna eat them with both hands because I can do that because I'm responsible with fireworks. Well, is there a way he could grow his fingers back like a lizard? No, because he's not a lizard. He's a human being. He's not Dr. Kurt Connors from The Amazing Spider-Man. And even if he was, you saw how that happened. I mean, yeah, he got his arm back, but he also turned into a horrible lizard monster. And Andrew Garfield only got two movies. Can you please give me some goddamn pain medicine? Well, look on the bright side, Cody. Now you can go win two Super Bowls. 
Foles. No, I can't because Jason Pierre-Paul was already in the NFL. He already made a name for himself. They're not going to take me. Yeah, not with that spirit, dude. And also, this doctor might have a connection with the NFL. Oh, yeah, I do. I treat lots of concussions. And then there's also DeMar Hamlin. I brought him back to life like I was Dr. Frankenstein. You know, he actually told me he faked the whole thing, but I'll still never forgive him for giving the Chiefs the number one seed. Can you please give me some pain medicine? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go get that. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor, sorry for calling you. I know you're probably busy on the 4th of July. No, not really. I have to give pain medicine to this one kid who blew his hand off playing with fireworks, but I'm gonna let him suffer for a little while. It's his own fault. That's one of the things I actually like about being a doctor, is that I can just disappear for a little while and play some Candy Crush in my office. My patients think I'm busy, but no, I'm just crushing candy. Well, anyway, Jeffy's having a really bad panic attack. Oh, yeah, he probably just has anxiety from all the fireworks outside. Some of my older veteran patients have the same problem. I like to bust into their room covered in grass and screaming in Vietnamese while I throw poppers at them. That always freaks them out. Yeah, I always say just kidding, but no, they're usually pretty upset. That's okay. They have Alzheimer's. They're not even going to remember that I did it. Anyway, here, you can just uh, have some of my Xanax. What, you take Xanax? Oh, no, no, no. I write prescriptions for my friends, and then they give them to me, and then I sell them on the street for a profit. On the streets, they call me Dr. Phil, with an F, you know, like, fill their prescription, because they're addicts. My wife also calls me Dr. Phil, but for a very different and gross reason. Anyway, this will make you feel a lot better, so say ah. I don't do well with pills. I'm gonna need you to hide it in peanut butter and shove it up my ass. I'm not doing that. Open your mouth. Oh. Oh, you missed the other Yeah, it's okay. It's uh, uh, yeah. Jeffrey, take it. What did we just swallow? Is it gonna kill us? I think they gave us medicine to make us calm down. What if the medicine makes us have depressing thoughts? What if it makes us angry? Hey there. Who are you? My name's Xanax. I'm the cream of the crop. Get out of here. We don't want you here. I'm going nowhere. I get you for 30 minutes. 30 minutes of relax time. Kick it up, Xanax. Yeah, mess him up. Yeah, get rid of anxiety. Don't touch me. Stay away. Ah! Time to go night night, motherfucker. You die. I feel better now. Yeah, now I feel good. I feel better. I know you do, buddy. I'm gonna write you a prescription for 60 of those and you give me half, capiche? Now I'm gonna go back to the hospital and pretend I'm busy. Jeffy, I know you're freaking out, but it's just called anxiety. You get that when you get older. Dang, I don't give a fuck. I'm floating on a cloud. I just popped a Zan. 13 hours till I land, have me out like a light. What is he talking about? I don't know. Like a light, and bitches hella tight. All right, Cody, how are you feeling? Well, considering the doctor never came back and we had to stop at Walgreens for bandages and ibuprofen, I'm not feeling good. You popped a boofy? Yeah, and it's not doing anything. Well, that's enough about you. I gotta talk to them. Hey, guys, if you want one of my Jeffy P. Nanos, then go to HTMLmerch.com right now, link in the description, and get your pre-order in before July 31st, and we gotta sell 2,000 of these bitches because Santa Claus needs a four-month notice before they can get to your stocking. But what Jeffy's trying to say is that we have to sell 2,000 pre-orders of this piano before July 31st or the factory won't be able to make it in time for Christmas. So go ahead and pre-order this right now at SMLmerch.com. Yeah, so if you want a Jeffy piano, go to SMLmerch.com right now, place your pre-order, and if we get 2,000, then we get to produce these a mass production so we can be able to sell more in the future. Yeah, and you got three and a half weeks to decide what you want for Christmas. And it better be this. Yep, and if not, then you're square. So yeah. You're not around. 2,000 of these, please. 2,000. Yeah. 2,000. Show, show them how it works. Oh, of course. See? Regular piano. And then if you hit this button right here. And then if you hit the Jeffy button, it plays one of my songs. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That is a pretty cool. And also has a working microphone too. Mm -hmm, it does. It, you can sing into it. It works. It record, you can record your voice singing to it too. Hey daddy, I smacked these hoes. Stuck my pee pee in some Cheerios. I got a pencil in my nose and I beat my diaper everywhere I go. Well, guys, I think today was a successful day. What if that anxiety guy comes back? I think the doctor gave us enough Xanax. Ugh, what do I do? What do I do? Hey, Boiny, you look so stressed out. That's because I am stressed out, Karen. Why are you in your dentist uniform? You don't work today. Oh, it's National Love Your Dentist Day. What? Yeah, it's June 2nd. This is the day where everybody calls up their dentist and tells them how much they love them and appreciate what they do for their teeth. That's not a real thing, Boiny. Yeah, it is. Oh, hold on, Karen. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, thank you for fixing my teeth. Yeah, you're welcome. I love you. Okay, thanks, buddy. Hey, you keep flossing. You hear me? Ugh, my phone has been blowing up all day. Boiny, that's just silly. Oh, look here. You got us a rotisserie chicken. I guess I don't have to cook dinner tonight. 
Well, of course I got us a rotisserie chicken, Karen. It's National Rotisserie Chicken Day. What? Yeah, June 2nd. No, Boiny, th th there's no way there can be more than one holiday in a day. Sure there can, Karen. It's June 2nd. It's also National Rocky Road Ice Cream Day. What? Yeah, and I gotta get this ice cream down to the strip club. Why, Boiny? Well, because it's also National Sex Workers Day. Boiny, you're not going to the strip club. Oh, hold on, Karen. My phone's ringing again. Hello? Hey, buddy. I'm sorry I forgot what today is. That's okay. I love you. Yeah, okay. Well, thank so you. So much. Yeah, th thank, thank you. Thank you for the tea. Yeah, thank you. Boiny, why aren't you saying I love you back? Well, it's National Love Your Dentist Day, not Love Your Patient Day. That's a completely different day. But look, Karen, I'm already really stressed out because they're throwing me a big I Love My Dentist party down at the dentist office, and of course I have to go because I'm the dentist, but I also really want to go to the Rotisserie Chicken Eating Contest Festival downtown, but it's also Rocky Road Ice Cream Night down at the strip club because whenever you go there, it makes your marriage a rocky road. Boiny, you can't do all that stuff in one day. It's impossible to be all in those places at once. Hmm, you're right, Karen. I should clone myself. No, Boiny, I think you should stay at home with me. No, it's okay, Karen. I heard you the first time. Clone myself. Good idea. No, Boiny, hang out here with me. Yeah, I'm gonna go figure out how to clone myself. Thanks, Karen. Boiny, that's not what I said! There's no way you think you'd be safer in the woods with a bear than a man. But I don't know what that man would do to me, Junior. I know what the bear would do to you. The bear would eat you. You don't know that. Well, bear is a term for a big, hairy gay dude, so I'm gonna pick bear. Hey, any of you kids have a clone machine? Yeah, Cody has a clone machine. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I gotta clone myself because I have a whole bunch of shit to do today. What do you have to do on a Sunday? It's June 2nd, so it's National Rotisserie Chicken Day, Rocky Road Ice Cream Day, Sex Worker Day, and National Love Your Dentist Day. Oh, I forgot. It's also National Bubba Day. I gotta call my buddy Bubba. Hello? Hey, Bubba. Thanks for being Bubba. Oh. Oh, no problem, bud, and thank you for being my dentist. I love you. Love you too, buddy. <sighs> well, there's a lot of holidays today. Yeah, it's also National Cancer Survivor Day. Oh, and National Janice Day. I forgot to call Janice. Hello? Hey, Janice. Thanks for being Janice. Oh, you're welcome. Welcome. Thanks for being my dentist. I love you. Love you too. And hey, congratulations on surviving cancer. Oh, thank you. Hey, didn't you just get off the phone with Bubba? Yeah, I did. Oh, is that the dentist? Sure is. Wait, he's there? Yeah, we're engaged. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. You want to come to the wedding today? Wait, oh, wow. Well, what a day. I mean, Bubba and Janice, the cancer survivors, are both getting married on Bubba and Janice and Cancer Survivor Day. We sure are. Yeah. Hey, what, what did he say? He said uh, that he was going to come to the wedding, right? You're coming to the wedding? Yeah, I'll come to the wedding. Awesome. Oh, tell him I love him. Hey, Bubba says he loves you and I love you too. Love you both. Oh, fuck, I have to go to a wedding now. Hey, Dad, can you also make a clone for me to have a father that's actually around? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was wine like a little bitch day. Fuck you, Dad. Oh, if it was National Ground Your Daughter Day, I'd do it, but it's not, so go home and eat your Rocky Road ice cream. Fine. And your rotisserie chicken, but brush your teeth and don't eat too much. Ugh. Anyway, clone machine, please. Yeah, Cody, grab your clone machine. <gasps> he needs it. All right, here it is. The cloning machine. Cloning machine. Cloning machine. Patent approved. What's it do? Shut up, Junior. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to need like three more of me. Okay, no problem. Just uh, hop on in there. Like this? Yeah. Right, get in there. Okay. And then I just set this to quadruple mode. And now we wait. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Okay, everybody look at me. Hey, you look just like me. Hey, you look just like me. Hey, you look just like me. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I am the original Brooklyn guy, okay? That is why I am wearing clothes. Now, we have a lot to do today, okay? So you, you're gonna go to a rotisserie chicken eating contest festival. Got it. And you, you're gonna go to a wedding. It's Bubba and Janice, they're cancer survivors. Get them a nice gift. Got it. And you, you, hey, hey, you, yeah. You're gonna go to an I Love My Dentist party, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, so just put on this outfit. There you go, not looking too shabby. Isn't he a Scooby-Doo? No, that's Shaggy. I said shabby. You got me in the closet? It wasn't me. No, that's also Shaggy. Look, you have to go be a dentist at an I Love My Dentist party, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so where are you gonna go since they're doing your errands? I'm gonna go eat Rocky Road ice cream at a strip club. So thanks for the cloning machine, guys. Oh man, I can't wait to eat ice cream and look at boobies. What? What the hell, guys? Oh, hey, Brooklyn guy, what's up? Oh, hey, Brooklyn guy, what's up? Boobies! What? Guys, what the hell are you doing here? I sent you guys out to go do stuff. You're supposed to be at a rotisserie chicken eating contest festival. You're supposed to be at a wedding, and you're supposed to be at the dentist party. But we heard you were going to eat ice cream and go to a strip club, and that just sounded like a lot more fun. Well, yeah, of course it's a lot more fun. That's why I'm the one doing it. You guys are supposed to be out there doing the things I don't want to do as much. That's why you're the clones. Oh, my God, quadruplets. That's like four times the cash. Four times the penis. Guys, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you too, buddy. But I like the boobies. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm staying here and you're going to the dentist party. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, ma'am. Now just to eat my ice cream. 
We are gathered here today to witness the union of Bubba and Janice, two cancer survivors who love rotisserie chicken. I love you, Janice. Aw, oh, shoot, I love you, Bubba. If anybody has any reason why these two should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. What? I'm just kidding. Sorry I'm late, everybody. Hey, that's our dentist. Our dentist? Hey, I love that guy. I love you, man. Okay. I love you, too. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, buddy, what are you trying to do to my wife? What the hell was that? I, I was making out with her because she said she loved me. No, you were trying to get with my wife. I wasn't born yesterday. Well, I was actually born today. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, man. I love you. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of what you just tried to do to my wife, but I still love you because you're my dentist. Okay, I'm getting really mixed signals here. Is it okay if I kiss your wife or not? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> oh. Buddy, you want to fight, buddy? Hell yeah, wedding fight. <laughs> Oh shit, I hit the wrong guy. I'm I am so sorry. I, I'm embarrassed. I, I I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. Alright everyone, when the dentist gets here, we're all gonna yell surprise, we love you to show him how much we love him. Oh yeah, the dentist is gonna love that. Balloon. Surprise! We love you! Ah! Ow, why'd you punch me in the face? Scared. Doctor, you don't have to be scared. This is your surprise, we love you, dentist party. Nello. Yes, that balloon is yellow. Green. Yes, that balloon's green. Bunk. All right, doctor, did you get into the laughing gas again? Gas. I can poop. <clears throat> All right, he definitely did. Uh, hey, doctor, Linda from HR has something to say. Well, Mr. Brooklyn guy, I know I've had to write you up a lot in the past, but I was thinking that since today is Love Your Dentist Day, that we could just wipe your slate clean as long as you promise not to do anything bad again. Boobies. I'm gonna <gasps> grab them. No! Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, someone called 911! Hello and welcome to the Yummy Yummy Rotisserie Chicken Eating Contest Festival. Each of you has a rotisserie chicken in front of you, and the first person that eats all of their rotisserie chicken wins a $25 CC's Pizza gift card and $10,000 in cash. That $25 CC's Pizza gift card is as good as mine. $10,000? I could spend that on strippers. And now for the rules. You're not allowed to use your hands, only your mouth. All right, I'll see you later. All right, that was my side chick. Now for your rules, all you have to do is eat all your chicken. Three, two, one, yummy, yummy chicken time. No, you just said yummy, yummy chicken time. You're losing, you're losing. Oh my God, I am losing. Uh, I'm taking the money. Oh my God, he stole the prize money. Someone call the cops, hurry. Oh damn, oh damn, damn, damn. She's going crazy, look at her, damn. Whoa, whoa, guys, what are you doing here? You done already? Uh, yeah, I won the contest and I got $10,000. Oh, nice, we can use that on the strippers. Hey, how'd the wedding go? Um, you made an appearance. They definitely know you were there. Oh, nice. And how'd the dentist party go? Boobies. Uh, okay, w w was Linda from HR there? You didn't embarrass me in front of Linda, did you? No. Okay, good. Guys, quit your yapping. Boobies! Big old knockers! Officer Simmons, get in here! Yes, sir? It seems your partner, Officer Guy, has gone rogue. <gasps> oh, no! He's stolen $10,000 and assaulted multiple people, and he needs to be stopped. <coughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> I don't know. He's just unhinged. I'll understand if you don't want to bring him in. I can send a different officer. <coughs> no, sir. No, he's my partner. I have to bring him in. Okay, bring him in dead or alive. All right, but before I go, can I have some of your Rocky Road ice cream? No, you can have some ice cream when you bring Officer Guy in here. Now go and get it. Yes, sir. My rocket road. Freeze, Guy, you're under arrest. What's going on? What's going on? Simmons, what's going on? Boobies. You know what you did. What? Why are there four of you? Oh, yeah, I cloned myself, and these are all my clones. What did they do? Well, you stole $10,000 from a contest, you punched a wedding officiant, and made out with the bride, and you also punched an HR lady. Wow, you guys really fucked up my life. So I'm gonna have to arrest all four of you until I can figure out which one's the real you. No, Simmons, I'm the real one, and these are all clones. No, I'm the real one. No, I'm the real one. Boobies. No, Simmons, ask a question only I would know. All right, what color am I? Eyes. Blue. Oh, right, you're the real one! Wait, no, no, Simmons, everybody can see your eyes. He just answered first. That's a real question. All right. What does your mom scream out when I'm banging her? No, Simmons, I'm not answering that. Come on, man. I know you heard it. <sighs> Chew poppy mignogno. No, say it the way she says it. Ugh. Chew poppy mignogno. Oh, you're the real one! Bang, bang, bang! What the fuck, Simmons? You didn't have to execute them. You could have just arrested them. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought we were in like a movie or something. No, no, they weren't holding me at gunpoint. Jesus, do you know how traumatizing it is to see yourself get shot three times? Well, I'm sorry, mate. Maybe next time don't fucking clone yourself or something. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. God, this is the worst June 2nd I've ever had. I'm going home.
pancakes already? Oh man, pancakes for dinner. What the? Ew. Gross. But shouldn't be. Why is our pancakes green? I put broccoli in your pancakes so it can be healthier. Just eat it, God. <laughs> That's so gross. Yeah, I'm not eating this. Me either, dude. You're right, guys. We don't have to eat this. Yeah! This stuff is gross. Yeah! Let's go on strike. Yeah! Let's make out. No! Let's throw our plates at the wall. Yeah! 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 That yeah! was loud. Yeah! yeah! Let's go tie up Chef PB, steal his credit card, and order pizza. Yeah! Julia, what's all that ruckus in there? Let go of me. Let go of me. Come on. Where's your credit card, Chef PB? What? Where is it? I'm not giving you my credit card thing. Ow! Stop hitting me! Ow! Now hold on, Junior. You're being a little too rough with him. So what are you gonna do? Four eyes, huh? Ow! <laughs> Spit in my mouth! Ew! Yeah, that's what Daddy likes. Now where's your credit card, you dirty little pig boy? I'm not giving you my credit card! Alright, Cody, I think it's time for you to calm down. I'm sorry. Ow! Where Junior! Is it? Where is it? I'm not giving it to you! Ow! Stop hitting me! Uh, Junior, I found his wallet. Oh, we found your wallet. Give me my wallet! Don't take my wallet! In the closet you go. No, please, not the closet. It's not that bad, Chef Pee Pee. I've been in there my whole life. Let go of me, guys. Don't put me in the closet. Please, please, please. Ow. Okay, guys. Let's go order some pizza. Yeah. Eskimo kisses. Get off me, Cody. Okay. Okay, guys. Where should we order pizza from? Well, there's so many places to choose from. There's Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Oh, look at the commercial. Hey there. My name is 30 Second Sammy, and not for the reason you think. Have you ever needed a pizza in 30 seconds? Like you just can't wait? You need a pizza right now? Well, just call 30 Second Sammy's, and we'll have a pizza delivered to you within 30 seconds or less. That's a guarantee, or the pizza's free. How do we get the pizza to you so fast? Well, we don't stop for red lights. We don't stop for school buses. I ran over my dog. Everyone's in danger. We have no regard for human life, only pizza. I have pizza coursing through my veins. My wife gave birth to a full pepperoni pizza. So just call 1-800-FAST-PIE. That's 1-800-FAST-PIE. Guys, let's order from there. They can make a pizza in 30 seconds. There's no way they can make a pizza in 30 seconds. My dad said I was made in 30 seconds. Mine too, dude. All right, I'll call him. All right, guys, I ordered the pizza. What kind of pizza did you order? Cheese. Not what your teeth look like. What kind of pizza did you order? Cheese. Not what's in your ears, Cody. What kind of pizza did you order? No, I ordered a cheese pizza. You could have just said that. Oh, that must be them. They came fast. Yeah, my dad did too. That's how I was made. Hello? Hey there. Got your pizza here in less than 30 seconds, so I get to keep my job. <laughs> Woo! I dragged myself up. Here's your pizza. All right, thank you. Uh, you look familiar. Oh, I don't know about all that. I moved down here about a week ago from up north, so I'm sure you don't know me. <laughs> well, how old are you? Oh, I'm 43. I just don't have much to show for it. As you can see, I'm still delivering pizza. <laughs> I didn't go to college. Stay in school, kid. Uh, okay. All right, guys, the pizza's here. Oh, good, I'm starving. The delivery driver was really weird. Oh, no, did he look like the kind of guy that would put his balls on our pizza? Kinda. Even better. No, Cody, you don't understand. He looks just like you. Huh, that's weird. God damn it! They gave us garlic sauce instead of marinara sauce. Ooh. Cody, you don't understand. I think you might be his long-lost son. But I'm not. Wait, he looks just like Cody? He looks just like Cody. I think that's Cody's dad. Wow, really? Look, guys, can we just eat our pizza? But, Cody, he looks just like you. Look, Junior, there are seven billion people in the world. Two people are bound to look the same eventually. Can you please just go look at him? Junior, he already left. The only reason he'd come back is if we ordered another pizza. Yeah, we need some more marinara sauce. Yeah, yeah, order a pepperoni pizza. I'm tired of looking at the cheese pizza. It looks like Cody's teeth. I'm on it, dude. Guys, this is a waste of pizza. Yes, one large pepperoni pizza. And don't forget the marinara sauce this time. God! All right, the pizza's on its way, guys. Cody, are you ready to see your real dad? Junior, I think it's ridiculous that you ordered another pizza just because you think the pizza guy looks like me. He looks just like you, Cody. He's your long-lost father. This is stupid. I'm going to the bathroom. Well, you gotta hurry up. The pizza's gonna be here in like 20 seconds. Oh no, he's here! Cody, hurry! Oh, I'll go see him with you, dude. Yeah, come see him, come see him. Hello? Guess who's back? You guys really must like your pizza. I can't have it myself because of the diabetes, but I sneak a piece every now and again. <laughs> dude, he looks just like Cody. I was trying to tell you that, Joseph. Well, anyway, here's your pizza. Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. A garlic sauce? Really? Garlic sauce? Where's the goddamn marinara sauce? Yeah, there is no marinara sauce in the order. I ordered marinara sauce, I said it three times. I will cut your face! Oh, I will murder yeah, your yeah, first yeah, house! You're yelling so hard your hat's coming off. My mom, where's my marinara sauce, bro? Marinara sauce! Uh, let go of me! Let go of me! I'ma kill him! Calm down, Joseph. Marinara sauce! What the hell happened? The delivery guy forgot the marinara sauce and Joseph freaked out on him. Oh, well, does he look like me? Yeah, he looks like you. What, really? Yeah, he can totally be your dad. I told you, Cody. <sighs> okay, well, now I have to see this guy if you both agree he looks like me. Well, he ran away because Joseph yelled at him. Well, how about I order another pizza, and this time, they better not forget the marinara sauce. <sighs> guys, 
please don't order another pizza. We already have two. Well, Joseph freaked out and destroyed the pepperoni, so we only have one. Oh. Well, so order a pineapple pizza this time, Joseph. Okay, I'm on it, dude. Yes, one large pineapple pizza, extra marinara sauce. And I swear to God, if you forget the marinara sauce, I'm going to blow up the whole place. I'm crazy and I mean it. Oh, my dad has a whole bunch of fertilizer in his backyard. Ah! All right, they're on the way, guys. I don't think threatening them is gonna help. Uh, they're here, I think it did help. Okay, Cody, are you ready to see the guy that looks just like you? Hello? Hey there, somebody order a pizza and call in a bomb threat? That would be me. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Did you get the marinara sauce, though? Oh yeah, we got it. We didn't want the place going kaboom, but uh, you did say something about your dad having a bunch of fertilizer? Yeah, 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 my dad's dead, though, so around the grave. Oh, okay, that's good. Wait, wait where's the other pizza delivery guy? Oh, well, he was assaulted last time he came here, so you've been banned from 30 Second Sammy's. If you call that number, I'm just gonna show up now. But we wanna see the other guy! Well, that's not gonna happen, because his life is obviously in danger here, so here, here's your pizza. Oh, come on, guys, let's go. Uh, now how are you gonna see a real dad, Cody? It's not that big a deal. Yes, it is, he looks just like you. He's not my dad. Th stupid ass box! Oh, uh oh, my bad, guys. I'm just on edge today. Thank God I got my marinara sauce. Uh, I would've had to kill somebody. But, but Cody, I, I want you to meet your real dad. He's not my dad. Well, yes, he is. Joseph, is it his dad? I don't know, dude. I can't remember. See, he see? He doesn't remember. Come on, Cody. We have to see him. Junior, we can't see him. He's banned from delivering pizzas to your house. <gasps> That's it, Cody. We go to your house and order a pizza so you can see him. What? No, I'm not doing that. And then also your mom can see him and we can ask your mom if she banged him. I'm not asking my mom if she banged the pizza guy. But dude, don't you want to know? Yeah, don't you want to know you're the son of a pizza man? What no, I don't actually. Ooh, I got a test to see if you're his son. Um, spell pizza. What? Spell pizza. Why? Because only pizza men's son can spell pizza. What are you talking about? Everybody knows how to spell pizza. Then spell it. Okay, P-I-Z-Z-A. You're his son! I knew it, dude! I knew it! Wait, no, everybody on Earth knows how to spell pizza! Not a newborn baby. Okay, you know what? I'm going home. Okay, we're gonna follow you and order the pizza. What? No! Well, come on, we wanna see the pizza guy! You gotta see your own father! <sighs> okay, if it means that much to you, you can come with me. Yeah, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Ooh, let's go! Okay, guys, we have to be quiet. I didn't ask my parents' permission to have friends over. Boy, what did I tell you about inviting your friends over here without permission? Sorry, Dad. No, no, no. Ain't no sorrys in this household. You know what you gotta do now. Yeah. Yeah, eat this bar so uh, Eat it? Yeah, my dad doesn't understand the right punishment for things. Yeah, and I'm gonna check your mouth in five minutes. I better see bubbles on that tongue. Yes, sir. Well, you don't have to listen to him. He's not even your dad. Junior, you don't want to get me in even more trouble. I'm gonna have to eat two bars of soap. Okay. Let's just go to my room. Are you really gonna eat that bar of soap? No, I'm just gonna put it with the rest. So wasteful. If you wanna eat a bar of soap, be my guest. I mean, I love my marinara at Junior's house. I totally would, though. Um, Cody, are you ready to order the pizza? <sighs> yeah. What kind of pizza do you want? Pepperoni. Okay. Yes, one large pepperoni. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, the pizza's on its way. Cody, are you ready to meet your real dad? He's not my real dad. He's better than the dad that's trying to feed you bars of soap. Yeah, I guess. It's here, it's here! All right, Cody, you have to get ready. You have to look really nice for your dad. Um, let me fix your hair. Uh-huh, you look really good. Come on. Okay. All right, Cody, I think you should answer the door because you haven't met your dad yet. He's not my dad, but okay. Hello? Hey there, somebody order a pizza? Yeah, I did. Wanna see a joke? No, ow. I'm the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Oh, God. <laughs> because the box is leaning on top of my head. Yeah, I get it. It's just awful. <laughs> Ooh, everyone in the office likes a dead joke. Junior, this guy's a dork. But he's your dad, though. Boy, what did I tell you about inviting more friends to this house without my permission? But no, he's not a friend. He's just a pizza guy. Oh, uh, no. Nah, you ain't eating pizza in this house. You only eat soap a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't drop that bar of soap. <laughs> Even though I wouldn't trust you around kids, how about you come in here and eat pizza with me? Oh, I really shouldn't. I'm on the job. Except my offer, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> so, Cody, how's it feel that you met your real dad? He's not my real dad. He's a dork. Like father, like son. What, no, he, he's ugly. Like father, like son. What, no, no, I just mean he's weird. Like father, like son. Look, if you say that one more time, I'm gonna hit you with this bar of soap. Like father, like son. Who was at the door, honey? Oh, baby, just the funniest saltine I've ever met. Hey, don't forget the cheese whiz for those saltines, friend. <laughs> See, baby, he's hilarious. He's bonkers. Gary? Judith? Wait, wait, baby, you met him before? Oh, wait, you must have been to one of his comedy shows. Yep, yep. Well, she's been to one of my shows, friend. Oh, this is awkward. Wait, what's wrong, baby? You look befuzzled. Um, Tyrone, there's something I have to tell you. 14 years ago, I ordered a pizza, and this man delivered it, but I couldn't pay for it. Oh, so he gave it to you for free. Respect, respect. Who are you there? Helping a woman out of need, I like that. Uh, no, I paid for it, and I've been paying for it for 14 years. Wait, he put you on a payment plan for 14 years for a $20 pizza? Let me do the math. 
20 divided by 14, that's 11 cents a month. Well, Man, give me my respect back. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. No, no, Tyrone, what I'm trying to say is you're not really Cody's daddy. Yes! What are you talking about, woman? I am Cody's daddy. I look just like that boy. He looks just like me, I mean. Well, come in here, Cody. See, see, he wore the same glasses, uh, he got my nose, and we got the same skin color, woman! Cody, this man Gary is your real daddy. What? I'm a father? Well, I didn't know I had it in me. Wait, Mom, I, this guy can't be my real dad. Yeah, I agree with Cody. He's not his real daddy. I will fight him to the death over Cody. Oh, well, I don't condone violence. Oh, you condone it today. We going outside to fight. Come on. Oh, I'm sure there's a peaceful way we can settle this. By me ripping your head off. Come on. Okay, we're doing this. Hate to have to do this to you, funny man, but I got to knock you out. I'll have you know I'm a yellow belt and crop my gall. Purple nipple. Oh, my nipples. My number one weakness. Two men fighting over me. Oh, boys, I'm not worth it. Oh, my head hurts. What happened? Oh, you were uh, you were delivering pizzas, and you get hit by, uh, what's that called? By a car. Yeah, so any memories you have from the last five minutes or so didn't happen. B but I have a son. No, no, you, no, you don't. You don't have a son. No, that was a delusion. That never happened. Uh, are you sure? Because then... No, I'm sure. I'm, I'm totally sure. Nope, nope, none of that happened. So just go. Get out of my house. This is my house. All right. Well, I mean, you are the doctor. Thanks, Doc. Is that good? Appreciate that, doctor. Good looking now. Yeah, I don't mind lying for money. I hope you don't mind. I gotta make sure this is real. Yeah, we're good. Uh, thanks for rocking his shit, Dad. Anytime, Cody. Anytime. I would knock out anybody for you, even a bully. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, now go in your room and eat that bar of soap before I knock you out like your daddy. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? What was all that noise? Oh, uh, I, I asked the pizza man if he was my dad, and he said no. He said no, but he looks just like you! Yeah, yeah, I know, but we did a DNA test, and it turns out he's not my dad. He's not?! I could've swore he was your dad! Yeah, I thought so too, but no, no, he's not. Oh, that's a bummer. I wonder who your real dad is. Yeah, well, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Julia! Let me out, please! Are you ready for school? Sure am, Daddy. What, Jeffy, what'd you do to your shirt? I cut it up because I wanted it to look like Swiss cheese. Jeffy, you can't go to school like that. Yeah, they're going to send you home for having holes in your shirt. Darn. Didn't know that was going to happen. You're still going to school, Jeffy. But I don't have a shirt to wear. Sure you do, Jeffy. I got you this shirt for Christmas. It has a turtle on it, and it says, Turtly cool! Oh, that's so sick, Mommy. I want to put it on right now. <laughs> All right, Mommy. How do I look? You look turtly cool, Jeffy. Damn right I do. All right, Jeffy. Let's go to school. Danny, everyone's going to be so jealous of my new shirt. I'm going to pull major hose. Oh, that's good, Jeffy. Come on. Hey, idiot, what happened to your old shirt? Did you wipe your butt with it? You're just jealous you don't have a cool shirt that has words on it. Oh, yeah? What's it say? It actually says, turtle and cool, and it has a little turtle with sunglasses on it. <laughs> it should say that you're returned or, or returned. Yeah, that's it. You're returned. <laughs> My mommy told me that I was turtle and cool. <laughs> Your mommy dresses you. <laughs> mm, I don't want this stupid shirt anymore. <laughs> well, calm down, Incredible Hulk. Well, wait a minute. You don't have any nipples. Hey, everybody. Jeffy doesn't have nipples. <laughs> it's not my fault I was born without nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, why'd you take your shirt off? Because I thought that shirt was gonna make girls give me major treatment, but all it did was get me made fun of. They made fun of your shirt, Jeffy? Yeah, because apparently it's not cool to be turtly cool. They called me retarded. <laughs> Marvin. That's funny. Those kids are just mean, Jeffy. Well, I'm never wearing that shirt ever, 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 ever again. That's okay, Jeffy. I got you another shirt, and it says, Mommy Whaley loves me, and it has two whales hugging. You really want me to get made fun of, don't you, Mommy? Oh, it's cute, Jeffy. Is it going to make girls turn into bobbleheads? I don't know about that, Jeffy, but go ahead and put it on. Okay, Mommy. I'll wear it tomorrow, but it better not get me made fun of. <laughs> I see you got your old shirt back. 
Wait, that's not your old shirt. That's a new shirt. What's it say? Nothing. I want to know what your shirt says. No. No, show me your shirt. I'm not showing you my shirt. What does your shirt say? It says, my mommy Whaley loves me and it has a whale on it. <laughs> my mommy Whaley loves me? That's Whaley lame. Well, at least my mommy loves me. <laughs> well, what, is your mommy a whale? Hey, everybody, Jeffy's mom's a whale. <laughs> yeah, your mom's a whale. Shut up, Cody. Your mom's a whale. <sighs> I was just really glad the joke wasn't about me for once. <laughs> you gonna go to the ocean and see your mommy? Mm -hmm. That's it! I'm tired of this! <laughs> <laughs> what, are you gonna go kiss your mom's big whale lips? <laughs> it happened again! They made fun of your shirt again, Jeffy? Yeah, and they called you a whale, mommy! What? <laughs> Marvin! You eat a lot of Cheetos, baby. Marvin! Oh, look, uh, Jeffy, your mom got you another shirt. I did! It says hanging with mommy and has two slots. Oh, absolutely not! I'm done with shirts! They want to bully me? I'm gonna become the bully now! Oh, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> hey, loser, what's with the new look? Your balls finally drop? Mm. Hey, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off! No! No, no, stop! Stop! No! No! Oh, no! He, he pulled my underwear up over my face! Oh, God, I have doo doo stains on it! This is so gross and embarrassing! I'm gonna get paid, guy! <laughs> Anyone else want some? Huh? Cody called your mom a whale. What, Junior? What, no, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yes, Daddy. Uh, he gave me a wedgie. Should have pulled harder. Ha ha, Cody! You have rainbow pony underwear? Junior, they're not underwear, they're panties. Oh my god, I have those! Can I smell them? Ew, no, Junior, you're gross! Jeffy, stop worrying everyone! Go to the principal's office now! Jeffy, what are you doing? Jeffy, 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 Jeffy! Oh, 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 Jeffy, why do you pull my underwear over my face? Ew, I got doodle stain! Ring ring doesn't do my laundry! Ah! Hey Jeffy, how was school? Shut up, nerd! Jeffy! What'd you call me? Nerd, because you are one! What, what, what are you doing? Jeffy, what are you doing? <laughs> he, he put my underwear on my face! Jeffy! That is it, Jeffy, you are grounded! Oh, you're, you're gonna ground me? I'm gonna show you grounded! What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Giving you a swirling, nerd! What? what? Jeffy, if you put my head in that toilet, you would just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffy, dear God, please help me! <laughs> you had enough yet? I've had enough, I've had enough! All right. <laughs> Marvin, what's wrong? Jeffy gave me a swirly. He what? He put my head in the toilet. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because he's a nerd. Jeffy, that's not how we act. We treat others the way we want to be treated. Well, everyone wants to bully me, so now I'm going to be the bully. So no one mess with me! Marvin, what do we do? I'm calling the cops. He assaulted me with my underwear and a toilet. Hey there, somebody call the police? I heard an old lady say that at the barber shop today. She called me the police. I like that. I'm gonna say that from now on. Police. So what do you need? My son is bullying me. He gave me a swirly and he put my underwear over my eyes. <laughs> classic. Not classic, he's assaulting me. Well, I know how to deal with that kind of situation. You do? Oh yeah, I used to get bullied a lot in high school. Let me tell you a story. I always get bullied by this guy named Trevor. He used to call me names like Brace Face, you know, because I wore braces at the time. And he used to pull my pants down in front of all the cheerleaders. And they would all laugh at me and say, ha ha, tiny. So one day, I decided to get revenge on him by pulling his pants down in front of the cheerleaders. And boy, did that backfire, because he was hung like a horse. All the girls liked him, even Miss Jenkins. I, I, I had a crush on her. She was kind of a hot teacher. But anyway, me and Trevor became friends after that because I helped him get so many girls by pulling his pants down. So I guess the moral of this story is what you should do is pull Jeffy's pants down in class. No, that don't do that. That's not right. That's that's not what I meant at all. Okay, okay, okay. Better example, better example. Okay. I also used to get bullied by this guy named Travis. Now, Travis was a real freak. He put a wasp nest in my backpack. So whenever I opened my backpack, a bunch of wasps flew out and they started stinging me. So I ran around the classroom taking my clothes off. And then everybody just pointed at me and laughed and said, ha ha, tiny. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So the next day, I put a wasp nest in his backpack. And then when he opened his backpack, he got stung by wasps and he ran around the class taking his clothes off. And boy, did that backfire because he was Hacking. All the girls liked him, oh yeah. Except we didn't become friends because he was pissed that I put a wasp nest in his backpack. So the moral of this story is you should put a wasp nest in Jeffy's backpack. No, don't, don't do that either. That was, okay, that sucks too. Okay, 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 okay. But last example, this one's gonna be good. This will make sense, I promise, okay. So I also used to get bullied by this guy named Trent and we rode the bus together. So what he would do was put gum in my hair, which sucked because then I'd have to shave my head to get the gum out and then everybody would laugh at me and say, ha ha, bald 
moldy and also tiny, you know, because they remembered from when I get pants and the whole thing with the wasps. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So what I did was I put gum in his hair and he had to shave his head. And then the next day he got hit by a car and I felt kind of bad. So I went to visit him in the ICU and I walked in when they were changing his body cast and he was packing. I mean, all of the nurses wanted to help him. So the moral of this story is you should push Jeffy in front of a car. No, 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 don't. Oh man, I'll, I'll admit, I, I, I'm not the right guy for this. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 let me just talk to him and I'll explain to him why bullying people is wrong. Okay. Hey champ, what are you doing? Writing hate comments on SML videos. Oh, but they work so hard. But they won't bring back their plushies. No, well they can't do that. Uh, look, I wanted to talk to you about something. What do you want, loser? Oh, okay, so you're already starting with the name calling. Now I know the only reason you're doing that is because you're just lashing out because you don't know how else to express yourself. Well, you're ugly. Okay, that one kind of hurt a little bit. But look, what I wanted to say is that I used to be just like you. I, I mean, I wasn't cross-eyed like that, but I, I did get bullied a lot. You did? Oh, yeah, I get bullied all the time. And you know how I got over it? I found out that everybody was packing. Uh, I don't really know why. But then, when I grew up, I became a cop, so I can bully whoever I want. It's my job to bully people. You going too fast? Boom! Speeding ticket. Speeding tickets are my swirlies. So, wh what I'm trying to say is I know that deep down, you know that bullying is wrong, right? <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Oh no, he did it to you too? Yeah, the only thing I learned here is I gotta start wiping better. Well, what do we do now, officer? Yeah, what do we do? I don't know. He's probably just going through a phase. I'm sure he'll grow out of it, or he'll end up in prison. He might be packing. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. No, don't go. We need your help. We really need your help. Well, I've done everything I can do, and I don't want my face to end up in your toilet again. Look, I have an idea that'll, that'll get him to stop bullying people. What, really? Yeah, let me show you. Well, I won't be able to see it, because I got underwear in my eyes. Oh. Thank you, but I would wash my hands if I were you. All right, we're all gonna wear these shirts, and when Jeffy sees them, he's gonna bully us for wearing these shirts, and he's gonna realize he's became what he hated most, being a bully. I hate this shirt. I look like a dingus. Aw, it's cute. Hanging with mommy. I hate my mother. I would never hang with her. I also hate sloths. They're all lanky and they're creepy and I hate them. Look, you only have to wear the shirt for like a few minutes for Jeffy to see you. Yeah, so he can make fun of us and then shove my face in the toilet again and then put my poopy underwear in my face? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. No, he's gonna realize that he's a bully and he's not gonna want to be a bully anymore. Jeffy, get in here! What do you losers want? Don't hurt me! Oh god, no, please! Well, just, 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 look at our shirts! Look at our shirts! Turtly cool? That's retarded. Well, look, Jeffy, look. You just bullied me the same way you used to get bullied in school. <gasps> You're right. What have I become? I've become the same thing I swore to destroy. I'm like Darth Vader. Diaper. Diaper. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't want to be a bully. I was just tired of people bullying me. It's okay, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, as long as you promise you won't bully anyone ever again. Yeah, Daddy, I won't bully anyone ever again. <laughs> I bet you're not even packing. Oh, no, I totally am. I got a wiener like a Coke can. Damn it. Last time on Jeffy Ball Z. Just when Jeffy finally got to use a wish and everything seemed peaceful, a mysterious figure emerged from the darkness. Is he friend or foe? Let's find out. So we're cool, right? Right, ma'am? We're cool? Right? We're cool? You got me and my wife killed. Yeah, but I died too, and hey look, we're all back to life now, so we're cool. But you didn't know you were gonna die. No, but everything worked out, so we're cool. But if you could go back in time and make that same deal, but you know you won't die, would you do it again? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. But that guy's dead, so I could never do that, so we're cool, right? Right? We're cool? I can tell by the look on your face that we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. I'm gonna leave. Jeffy, you gotta cut this Dragon Ball shit out. But Daddy, if I collect all the Dragon Balls, then I could wish to be the biggest super sandwich the world has ever seen. No, Jeffy, you don't have to look for any more Dragon Balls. Just cut it out because you got us killed last time. But I want my wish. No, Jeffy, you already used a wish. Well, I had to use it to wish you guys back alive. Now, if I get another wish, I can wish for infinite wishes. I mean, you could wish for infinite wishes. Jiro Fingershits have finally completed the perfect android, the perfect tool for world domination, Android 19, which is way cooler and more successful than my last experiment, COVID-19, which I really thought was going to cure the flu, and boy was I wrong. That was a huge disaster. But anyway, Android 19 will show the world just how smart and sexy I am, and all of the women of the world would say, Dr. Fingershits, you are so smart and sexy, and they will want to rob my big, beautiful, uncertain circumcised brain, especially the fat ones. 
I am a bit of a chubby chaser. I want to be able to grab any part of her and it feel like boobies. Don't judge me. Okay, now, Android 19, rise! Rise and go find me the sexiest, fattest woman to be my queen! Yes, master. Yes! <laughs> Jeffy, I think the smartest decision is to not chase those Dragon Balls anymore. Me. What the hell is that? Hey, what are you doing? Fat barrel chested woman acquired. Excuse me? You are coming with me. Hey you, get away from my mommy. Photon laser. <laughs> See, Jimmy, that's why you have to cut this Dragon Ball shit out. There's a random robot in the house. Sciatic pain. What? Oh, my sciatic nerve. Ugh, no one gets on my daddy's nerves except for me. <laughs> why didn't it work? I am impervious to energy blasts. Photon laser. <laughs> now come with me, Tubby. Go save her! Go save her right now! I can't. I'm too weak. No! Maybe you're right, Daddy. Maybe I should give up the Dragon Balls. No! Don't give it up! Go get Rose and then give up! No, Daddy. He's too powerful. No, Jimmy! Come on! You can fight him! Uh, I quit. You have yellow hair! Uh, Jimmy! My sciatic nerve! Jimmy, it hurts! It hurts so bad! Go get Rose! Jimmy! Oh, I'm so excited for my fat, beautiful queen! Master, I have brought you a fat, barrel-chested female as you requested. What is this? She is not fat! Thank you! Well, she is a little bit fat, but I want it big, obese, gigantic, like my 600-pound life! Well, she is a little barrel-chested, so I'll give you that. Hey! I'm sorry, Master, I have failed you. Yes, you have! And since you can't do your job right, I will take care of her myself! Come with me, not very fat lady! I'm a failure. I couldn't even save my own mom. I'm too weak. <sighs> What's going on, Jeff? You got your depressed hair on. My mom got kidnapped, and I'm too weak to save her. I'm giving up forever, Junior. Don't give up. You can get stronger, and you can go save her. No, I can't. I'm a failure, and I'm never going to be strong enough again. Well, there's this guy I know. He can train you to be stronger. How? How, Junior? Well, all you have to do is bring him a cheesecake, and he'll teach you how to get stronger. If I bring him a cheesecake, I'll be strong enough to save my mom? Yeah, I think so. Then let's bring him a cheesecake. I have to save my mom, Junior. Come on, let's go. All right, Jeffy. There's the cheesecake. Grab it. Okay. What are you losers doing in my kitchen? Oh, no. It's Chef Pee Pee. Uh, put that cheesecake back before I turn you into miss me. Oh, no, Jeffy. We're going to have to fight him. I can't. I'm too weak. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna have to fight you. Oh, you're no match for my death fingers. <laughs> oh, thank God I beat him to it. I thought he had me. All right, let's go grab my phone off the couch and put my wig back on. And then we can go, go give the cheesecake to the guy. Okay. Oh, look, there's my phone. I'll get it. Well, Jeffy, how can you eat cheesecake at a time like this? Rose is kidnapped. You need to save her. Well, that's exactly why I need the cheesecake, so I can get stronger. No, cheesecake's not going to make you stronger. It's going to make you have diarrhea. Hopefully. What? Well, look, there's the news. Breaking news, okay? A mad scientist has kidnapped a woman, and he has something he wants to tell the world. Let's go to that now. Be quiet. Hello, world! I am Dr. Jiro Finkelschitz, and my mustache is falling off, goddammit. What, please? I bet you're wondering why I'm on your television screen! Well, I will tell you. I want the Dragon Balls, and I will execute this not very fat lady every. Hold, hold, please. I will execute this not very fat lady in 24 hours if I do not get the Dragon Balls, and I will execute another not fat lady, whatever, if I don't get the Dragon Balls in another 24 hours. And if you're thinking about stopping me, don't, because I have this very scary robot who will kill you. Thank you very much. Oh no! That crazy scientist is gonna kill Rose! You have to get the Dragon Balls and give them to him! Or I could get the Dragon Balls and wish for Mommy to be safe, like she just poofs out of there like poof. Or we can get the Dragon Balls and then go beat up that scientist and get Rose back and then we can use the Dragon Balls to wish for something cool like a spaceship. Or you guys can say screw it to the Dragon Balls and go beat up the scientist right now and get Rose back before he kills her. Well, I gotta go get strong first. I got your phone, Junior. You better hurry, Jeffy! You better hurry!
Look, Jeffy. There it is. There's the chamber. What are you doing in my swamp? Well, Mr. Shrekami, um, Jeffy's mom, she got kidnapped. And we need to go save her because she'll be killed in 24 hours. So we were wondering if we could use your chamber to train. Do you even know what this chamber is? It's a hyperbolic time donkey chamber. Every hour spent in this chamber is equivalent to one day here on Earth. I know, and that's why we want to use it to train. Well, the only way I'm going to let you use my chamber is if you bring me the Sarah Lee Creamy Cream Cheesecake! Jeffy, hand it to him. <gasps> there she is. The Sarah Lee Classic Creamy Cheese Creamy Cake Smooth and Creamy No Artificial Flavors Cheesecake! I will now make love. You guys go ahead and go in the chamber and do whatever you have to do. <sighs> Alright, Jeffy, you go in first, and then after 12 hours, you come out and let me go in. Strong as fuck. Whoa, Jeffy, you look so strong. My turn, my turn. Hold on there, donkey. Only one entry per cheesecake. So if you want to go into the chamber, you have to bring me a creamy cream cream cheesecake. But we only had one cheesecake. Well, then get the hell out of my swamp. Oh, I want to be strong, but at least you're strong now, Jeffy. Let's go. Fuck yeah, daddy. I'm ready to kick the shit out of somebody. Whoa, Jeffy, what happened to your hair? I put gel in it. And I also went super re-re too. So you're strong enough to go save Rose? Yeah. Come on, Junior. Let's go kick some supernatural ass. There! I had to take your mouth because you were being so annoying with all of the please don't kill me and I don't want to die. Shut up! Well now it has been 23 hours and 59 minutes, so in one minute I can finally kill you! Hey, stop right there. Stay away from my mommy. You are too late, man who uses too much hairspray! It's actually hair gel. Well it doesn't matter because I'm going to kill your mommy! No, you're not. Come on, Jeffy, let's kick his ass. It's pointless to even try! Android 19! Kill them! Yes, master. Come on, Jeffy, I got this. It's just a stupid little little robot. Sciatic pain. What the, ah, my back. Oh my god, it hurts. I think. You done did it now. I'm going to power up my RPMs, my retards per minute. I already told you that your attacks are pointless. What? Yeah, I lost a chromie, but I found it. <laughs> Me. Android 19, what the hell was that? He is too powerful, master. Well, do something, kill him. Critical malfunction, global self-destruct, happening in 10 seconds. Yes, you hear that? Global self-destruct, now you're in trouble. Wait, did you say global? He's going to blow up the entire world, do something, kill him. You fucking did it, fuckhead. Take him, take him somewhere. I don't want any part of this. Instant transition. Oh my God, I'm a girl. Give me awards, woman of the year. Oh wait, wrong one. Instant transmission. I brought us in space, so when you explode, you won't hurt anybody. Oh wait, what about me? Okay, here's your wife. Wait, Rose, you're back? But where's Jeffy? Oh, well, I got my ass kicked by the robot because he kicked me in the sciatic nerve. Wait, mine too, he hit me in the back. Is Jeffy okay? What? Look, the news. Breaking news, okay? A robot was going to self-destruct and destroy the entire world. But some guy named Jeffrey took the robot into space and sacrificed himself to save the world. But he is dead. Wait, Jeffy's dead? No! After a grueling battle where Jeffy rescued his mommy, he made the noble sacrifice to save the Earth, blowing himself up in the process. Will Marvin and Junior's sciatic nerves ever recover? Is Jeffy really dead? Find out next time on Jeffy Ball Z. Baby, grab my tissue. Okay, here you go. Here you go, Jeffy. <gasps> Jeffy, why would you sneeze in my face? God damn it! Sorry, Daddy, I didn't know. When you sneeze, you grab a tissue from the tissue box. Okay, Daddy, I'm gonna sneeze again. Grab a tissue, grab a tissue. <laughs> Jeffy! I said grab a tissue! I did! You're supposed to sneeze into it! You didn't tell me that part! It's common sense, you idiot! Well, life is too hard! I didn't know they made paper for you to sneeze into! 
Marvin, calm down. Are you hungry? Yes. Would a McRib make you feel better? Of course a McRib would make me feel better. It's McRib season. McRibs are delicious. Well, then why don't you and Jeffy go get McRibs? Whoa, you talking about the McRib with the onions and the pickles on it? Jeffy, how about you go get us three McRibs? One for all of us. Oh, no, Marvin. I don't want one. I think they're disgusting. Still get three, because I want two. All right, Daddy. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, trash can. Home sweet home. <laughs> Right, you go get this Mickey D, boy! McRib, here I come! Hey, you hit my house! Oh, shit! Oh, Jeffy's taking forever with my McRib. Marvin, you're just hungry. Hey there. The cops! Jeffy, what did you do? Daddy, you know I fuck up all the time. What did you do, officer? What did he do? Well, he crashed his car into someone's house. You crashed your car into a house, Jeffy! Well, I didn't see the house! How do you not see a house? Because it was behind me! You're supposed to use your rearview mirror! Oh, how much damage to the house? It's got a pretty big dent in it. Oh my god, how much damage to his car? Oh, it's fine. I didn't see a scratch on it. Okay, whose house did he hit? This homeless guy's. Wait, a homeless guy? A homeless guy doesn't have a house! Well, it's really more of a trash can. Actually, it's your trash can. The homeless guy was living in your trash can. Wait, 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 wait. So Jeffy hit my trash can that had a homeless guy in it? Yep. Okay, then tell the homeless guy to get out of my trash can! Well, see, the problem is, here in Florida, we have squatters' rights, so if a person's been living in a place long enough, it technically becomes their home, and the homeless guy says he's been living in your trash can for the last six months. He showed me mail with his name on it. No, 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 you gotta be kidding me! That does not count! He cannot live in my trash can tell him to get out! Well, I can't do that. It's the law. If you want him out, you gotta give him six months eviction notice. I have to give him a six months eviction notice? No, no! It's my trash can! I own it! You can't live in my trash can! You're gonna have to take him to court. He has to have time to get his stuff out of there and find a new trash can. I'm not taking a homeless guy over to the court over a trash can. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about I don't care anymore? Just tell him he can keep the trash can, he can live in it, but I don't want him living on my property. I'll just buy a new trash can. Well, technically, the trash can's not on your property anymore because it's in your neighbor's yard. But he did say he wanted to bring the trash can back to your driveway because you have good trash. No, he is not allowed on my property. He can keep the trash can, I'll buy a new one, but tell him he's not allowed to put that trash can on my property. Okay, how about this? I'll check the land survey to see if his trash can is on the property line. Yeah, yeah, make sure it's not on my property. Hey there. I'm back and I have some interesting news. What's going on? So you see how your property's all in red right here? Yeah. That means it's not part of the United States. What are you talking about? Well, you see, back when the Louisiana Purchase happened, France owned Louisiana and a bunch of other states, but they also owned this little part of Florida right here. So they sold all the rest of that to America, but they forgot about this part. So America doesn't own it and France doesn't want it back. I called and they said no. So technically, your property is its own country. You're telling me my house is its own country? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. So you're gonna have to figure out who your president's gonna be if you decide to do that, and you're gonna have to figure out a name for your country and what your flag's gonna be. But hey, look, the good thing is that homeless guy can't stay here because he doesn't have a passport, unless you want to give him a citizenship or asylum or something. No, I don't want him here. Okay, but I can't get rid of him because this is outside my jurisdiction, so you're gonna have to start your own police force and military and all that. Well, no, I want to be a part of Florida. Tell, tell America we want to be a part of them. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. So if you come in and out of your country, we're going to have to set up a customs checkpoint at the end of your driveway, so anything you bring in and out has to go through there. Oh yeah, and we're also going to have the Coast Guard patrolling in your lake back here so you don't try to swim to America. Well, no, we want to be Americans. We are Americans. You know we're Americans. Sorry, you're your own country, so uh, I'm just going to let you guys figure out how your country is going to work, because I know this is a lot. There's no way this is happening. There's no way. Woo! Since we have our own country now, we should be a monarchy, like with a king and a queen. Dibs on king. Dibs on queen. No, there's not going to be a king or a queen, because if there was a king, it would be me. No, I already called dibs on king. Respect the dibs, Marvin. It's the law. Yeah, the dibarchy. We're not going to have a dibarchy because we're not going to have our own country. We're going to go join America, and this whole thing's going to end. Oh, Danny, can I draw the country's flag? We don't need a flag. All right, I'm going to go get on it. Come on, Marvin. It'll be so fun running our own country and making up our own laws. But, baby, we have to go through customs just to go to the grocery store. Store. We never leave the house anyway, Marvin. All we do is watch TV. Please, can we be our own country, please? Okay, we'll be our own country for one day. Yay, I'm going to put on my queen outfit. What queen outfit? All right, Dad, I draw our flag. Ping, ping, suck land. We're not calling our country PP suck land. PP suck world. It's not an amusement park, Jeffy. PP suck studios. Marvin, I have now dressed in my queen's garments. Take that off. I will not. I am not a harlot. I said that if anyone was going to be the king, it was going to be me. But Marvin, Jeffy called dibs. Tib. Well, you know what? I think we should vote. Who votes me king? 
Who votes Jeffy King? Me, 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 me. No, I'm the king. Jeffy won the vote. He is now President King Jeffy of Pee Pee Suck Land. Well, King, I think we should sell ourselves back to America so we can have rights. No, Pee Pee Suck Land will be one of the most powerful forces in all the world. No, we're not because America has nukes. We don't have nukes. Well, we will build the nukes. Good thinking, King. We're not going to build a nuke. Lieutenant Guy, get in here. Yes, sir? What's this I'm hearing about a country inside of America? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. That's a uh, Pee Pee Suckland. Are they dangerous? Oh, no, sir. I don't think so. They have a hamster and a goldfish on their flag, and their country's named after a fun activity. Okay. Sir, 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 our satellites picked up Pee Pee Suckland discussing building a nuke. A nuke? God damn it, Guy, you told me they weren't dangerous. Well, sir, I've been to Pee Pee Suckland, and I don't think they have the resources to build a nuke, but the fact that they're even thinking about it means they're planning on going to war. We gotta buy bomb the hell out of them. We gotta turn their country into a Walmart parking lot. But sir, I don't think it's a good idea to go to war with such a small country right now. It doesn't matter. We need to find a reason to invade them. Well, we can see if they have oil. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that again. You go over there and see if they have oil or if they're willing to surrender their country to us. Okay. Build the nuclear weapon, peasant! I'm working on it. All we have is Legos. Will it explode? Yes, if you throw it at the wall, it'll explode into a million pieces. Good. Father, I am hungry and quite parched. Travel to America and get me a McRib and a large Sprite. I can't go to America. I don't have a passport. We must hunt our own land for food. Go fish in the lake, peasant. I can't fish in the lake because the Coast Guard will blow my head off. Aww. Well, our children will grow hungry. Ooh, we could Uber eat something. They won't deliver to our country. Tree. Well, I must bang my own mother like Oedipus. Let me see who's at the door. Hello? Hey there, PP Suckland. It's me, Brooklyn guy with the United States military. You were just here as a cop! Yeah, well, I'm with the army now because the United States would like to know if your country has oil. Uh, do we have any oil? I think there's cooking oil in the kitchen, and I'm sure there's oil in the engine of my car. Okay, so you do have oil? I think so. Okay, gimme. What do you mean, gimme? I mean, give me your oil. Well, I paid for it. It's mine. No, it belongs to us now. Actually, as a matter of fact, we want your whole country. I'll give you the country. I don't want to be a part of this stupid country. I want to be in the United States. Oh, that's great, but I do need to talk to you, King, first. Speak to the king. No, you can speak to me. I own the house. No, sorry. I know you guys are a monarchy, so I gotta talk to you, King. <sighs> Jeffy, get in here! Who? King Jeffy. What do you want, peasant? Hello, your highness. Your highness. Right. Well, the United States government would like your entire country and all of its resources. No. Well, Jeffy, give it to him! Well, you do realize there's a bunch of tanks pointed at your house, right? PP Suckland will not be intimidated, so if you want war, we accept. Give me your thumb. Oh, no, it's not like a thumb war. I, I mean like a real war with guns and bombs. Well, we accept that too! No, we don't! Okay, you asked for it. No, we, we don't accept! Jeffy! Queen, prepare the troops for war. We have no troops, sire. Jeffy, we're not going to war with America. Well, they're picking on us, Daddy, and I gotta show them that I have big grapefruit gorilla-sized testicles. You don't, Jeffy. Yes, I do. Oh, it doesn't matter how big your balls are, Jeffy. They can wipe out our entire country by pressing one button. They're not gonna press it because I have big gorilla testicles. Okay, sir. I just knocked on Pee Pee Suckland's door, and it turns out they do have oil, but they are not willing to be part of America. Well, you know what that means, guy. Find something to blame them for, then bomb the hell out of them. All right, Susan, scramble the F-16s. Sir, yes, sir. And you tell them to make sure they empty all their goddamn bombs in that little piece of shit country. Yes, sir. Hurry up with that nuke, Daddy, because if they attack us, I want to retaliate. I'm trying to figure out where this piece goes. What was that? Sounds like F-16s. We're about to get reamed. What does reamed mean? Railed and creamed. Oh, no! Step on me! Yes, oh, get down! Take this, America! No! Daddy, the nuke didn't work. Put your head down, Daddy! Perfect, man! I, I think it's over, but, but, but we lost power. Um, Daddy, I don't want you to be a king anymore. I'm going to my room. I'm grounding myself. But Jeffy, you can't start shit with America and then make me deal with it. Marvin, I want to be America again. Me too, but I'm afraid to go outside. I don't want to get shot. Okay, sir. We bombed them to Kingdom Come, but we kind of missed the house. Everything around the house is the Grand Canyon, and they have no power, but they're still in the house, and I think they're afraid to come out. Well, let's give them something to be afraid of. Send SEAL Team 6 in there to capture them and drag their asses out of there. Susan, SEAL Team Six. Do we get to crash the helicopter on the front lawn again this time? Of course you do, America! Fuck yeah! Get it done! Alright boys, we're gonna get in there and take them out. You see a gun, you blow the damn head off. Now let's move, let's move, let's move! This room's clear, let's move, let's move! Marvin, what's that sound? I don't know! Oh my god, Marvin, what's on your face? What is it? Get on the ground! Ow! Got one! I got the other! Sir, we got them! Did you blow their heads off? Not this time, we're bringing them in. Here they are! We got them, sir. 
How'd you like getting bombed by America, you pussies? You didn't even have to bomb us. I already gave up. Oh, yeah, sure. You're giving up now that you had a good old-fashioned American ass whooping. Listen, I don't want to fight. You can have the country. Well, what we need you to do is sign a piece of paper that says that you surrender and we can have all your stuff. Okay, I'll sign it. No, Marvin. We should get something out of giving up our whole country. Listen, I'll give him the whole thing. All I want is that McRib right there. Nuh-uh, man. You better stop looking at my McRib. That's my dinner. God, give him the goddamn McRib. But, sir, it's my dinner. He's trading us a country for a McRib. You better give it to him. Uh, you can have my McRib. Oh, my God. 